This video is going to be on Fierco's triad, which are the three major determinants of thrombosis, or the three major determinants of thrombus formation. The first determinant is endothelial injury. So injury to the endothelium, which results in uh, exposure of that subendothelial collagen and release of coagulation hemostasis mediators, as well as endothelial cells themselves releasing mediators of hemostasis. The second determinant is hypercoagulability or a procoagulant state. This is a disruption of primary and secondary hemostasis as well as fibrinolysis. The third determinant is altered blood flow. So the blood flow is somehow being changed through the blood vessels. So next I'll go back to endothelial injury. There's a lots of different things that can injure endothelial cells and this consists of a variety of infectious and non-infectious causes. So the causes that you specifically learned about within the Dealing with Threats course is herpes viruses within immunology course, dirofilaria or heartworm disease in this course and also parasitology, and septicemia in bacteriology. So those are the ones that I want you guys to focus on even though there's lots of different causes of endothelial injury. Causes of hypercoagulability also are quite numerous. So intense inflammation can actually um, start the initiation of the coagulation cascade. Cancer can also produce uh, procoagulant factors which initiate the coagulation cascade. And then for some reason, animals with hyperadrenocorticism or Cushing's disease also have a hypercoagulable state. And the mechanism behind this is poorly understood. Diseases that cause low concentrations of antithrombin, so that's protein-losing enteropathies and protein-losing nephropathies, those can also cause a hypercoagulable state and predispose the animal for thrombus formation. Now going over to altered blood flow, there are several different causes of altered blood flow as well. Stasis is when the blood flow is decreased or slowed. And in this case, there's more contact of platelets with the endothelium and platelets are more likely to be activated. Heart disease results in abnormal chambers within the hearts and then it can also lead to stasis or congestion and decreased blood flow. And then aneurysms, these are dilations within the blood vessel. So I have an, a, an image of an aneurysm right below um, the word aneurysm. And this is essentially a balloon-like dilation within the blood vessel. So the blood flow is normal before it gets to the aneurysm, but then the aneurysm actually results in turbulent blood flow after the aneurysm. So that's it. The major determinants of thrombosis are endothelial injury, hypercoagulability, and altered blood flow.